Hello everyone, I'm Debbie Polachek. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be making another little uh, DIY tool for our crafting. This one will cut easy banners uh, with a little flag in. My poodle's back there. He's wanting to get down. But anyway, uh, this one, uh, the first one I made, I made it out of chipboard, little pieces of trip, chipboard and acetate. But this one uh, will make it out of cardstock. I think that'll work out just fine. And uh, these are some of the banners that I made uh, with this tool. And this time I'm also going to be cutting it at a different angle. This could be used on the inside or on the outside of the papers, just depending on how wide you cut it, how deep it is or whatever. But this one I'm going to make a deeper, deeper uh, area there. So it'll be a little bit different. So let's get started. Okay, this is the one I made out of out of chipboard and I to make it I laid my um, piece of acetate that is approximately about three and a half inches by two and a quarter inches and I laid it on top of my grid paper and I was looking for that 45 degree angle so I so when I made it I had this upside down I took my chipboard and glued it with um, this uh, fabric tack glue and laid it right on the even with this this line then I took my other piece and laid it even to this line so you let that dry and then when it dries good then you can go back and mark each quarter of an inch and the only reason I the quarter of an inch so you can easily set your paper inside of here now if you um, if you leave a little bit like I have here and put it like square with the the grid paper then you can tell by using the marks on here And right there, you know that this is the center point because this has got an even little gap between those two. And then you just take your pen, you mark it. Oh, I also cut the acid after that dried real good. I cut inside that acetate. I forgot to tell you that to get that spot so you can do that. Now, this is the other end. Again, I'm going to set it so the point is here. And I'm looking for my um, my uh, grid to go at look up and go at it going at the third point on each side, so I'll be able to cut it right there. Oops. I'm trying to get this little gap, even with this little gap, both on this this grid line here, and both at three. Okay. Now, if you also wanted to kind of mark the center, it might be easier for you to do it that way. Then, of course, you just go ahead and cut the line off or cut to the line. If you want to flip over and use the other side, just cut to the line. But I'm going to go ahead and cut the line off. Or this, again, I'm going to cut the line off. So you got a pretty perfect little banner. Okay, now I'm going to take that another piece. And as you can see, I got a marked. And how I marked that is just that I thought, well, what's, what size point do I want? I so I thought, well, I just put this one here. And I thought, well, I'd like to have it quite a bit smaller. So I'm going to put the mark at this point here. And then I drew it with a pen and a ruler to get it straight. So this time... You need a big enough gap here so you'll have enough for when you cut this apart here, you will have something left, okay? So that's that's there. Okay. Okay, I've got that pretty even, I think. I'm going to take my um, 
just use tear and tape this time so it will dry real fast. And again, I'm going to hold my finger here. Okay. Do that there. And you could do this at any angle in there that you want. Now I'm trying to hold this so it's straight. I can get in there straight with his other hand. Okay. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut me another strip of cardstock. Now your cardstock can be at any uh, width. It could be real narrow. Now this one would probably be limited to, maybe not. Let's see, would it be limited or not? I guess it wouldn't be limited. Let's try with a bigger piece and see. Let's try this and see. Looks like as long, no, let me cut this first. Can't draw on it if I got it, don't cut it out. Let's go ahead and get our, our center finder here. This is another gadget that we made. That's a little T-square center finder. I'm going to go ahead and put this at five, or a little less than five and a little less than five on this side. And this is the center of my paper right here. Same here. I'm going to put this, I don't know if this is going to be at the right spot or not, but let's try it. A little less than five, a little less than five, and this is the center. I'll leave you a link to this one too, in case you want to make that. And as long as we put this in the center, no, it's not going to be long enough to do that, but we could continue the line, I think. Let's see. This is at this point. And this is at this point. And this is at the center. Okay. Let me just take a straight, straight edge and continue that line. See how that goes. This is a almost a two and a half inch banner here but as you can see it will work okay and this one will do this way and we probably want this to go all the way to the end as well so we'll put that one about right there. Okay, I'll need to make this mark a little higher. You probably want to do this with a pencil rather than a pen. Okay. Here we go with this. In the center. Got our little mark here, little mark here. Pin it. Continue it. Just 
continue it. Okay, and I think that worked out fine. So now let's try a little thin one, very thin. Here's a piece, little thin piece of paper. I'll go ahead and put it inside of there. And put it on top of this paper, make you see it easier. And this time we'll do it. This is so small, I think just eyeballing it would be pretty good just to find the center. Well, we got a nice little bitty, so you can see that we can go to all different sizes with our little homemade banner maker. So go ahead and give it a try. Give me a thumbs up too, and subscribe to my channel to watch more videos. Thank you. Bye-bye.